my name is Maureen Nafula Sakini Wafula. I know you don't know Sakini. Sakini is my name. And when I came to Nairobi, I got another new name. I call myself Nyambura. Nyambura is the same as Nafula from Bungoma. I'm born again and I thank God for this uh, opportunity to stand before you. And I want to thank uh, our bishop and Mom Alice, our pastors in this place, all the leadership in this place, uh, the ladies uh, leaders, thank you for mentoring us. And we are the way we are because of you, the anointing in the house. And I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you so much. Um, uh, this afternoon, I want us to look at uh, um, a subject that is so practical to all of us. And this one, we can talk about um, the race to heaven, mounting up in this race. And um, I know Kikuyus have produced the best runners in this nation. You remember? The river, and there was somebody known as Wakihuri. But in Luya's, uh, Charles will tell us we don't have any, but we were able to produce the best boxer. You remember Wangira Nyenapuni? Yeah, that was a lawyer. Uh, kwa boxing, eh? Carl Engines. Hallelujah. They always fly. We have the Masais. We have the Kisses. We had a person known as Nyakundi, if I'm not so wrong. And you know, even in your tribe, you have maybe produced one of the best in some other fields. But I want us to talk about mounting up in the race to heaven. And this race, the good thing is that uh, all of us can run. Haijalishi miaka, because in Afrika Pahali, the athletes, when they reach a certain age, they are not able to run again. Even right now, if you told your mom that we are going for a relay, like my mom, for those ones who have uh, been to our place and they know my mom, she cannot run. If it is in these other athlete uh, races, she will not be able to run. But in the heavenly race, she can run. That is the beauty part of it. That each one of us can run this race. Each one of us can run this race. And the moment you get just born again, I mean, you are born in this world, and you are born again, you have entered into the race. You start running. And this race, we can read it from the book of um, 1 Corinthians 9, 24. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain. Now, I want us to know uh, the rules of running the heavenly race. For us to be able to mount up, there is a race marked for us. And this one we can also read from the book of uh, Hebrews. Um, Hebrews, uh, those ones are too small. Huh? Let me look this other side. Eh? I don't know how pastors see that. I'll be able to see this. One. Hebrews 12, verse number 1. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by such a great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. And therefore I want to talk about the, set that, the race that is set before us. That this race, it has been marked. We need to look at even uh, the standard chartered marathon that uh, is normally held by us uh, Kenyans. 
That one is also a race. But you'll find that there are some people who will come dressed in uh, jeans. There are some who are dressed in uh, Maasai shuka. And they are enrolled in that race. That is not what I'm talking about. This race that I'm talking about, it is marked by our Lord Jesus. It is a race for each one of us as a Christian to run. And the moment we get born again, we start the race. And there are rules that we are supposed to follow as we run this race. There are many rules. First of all, you must register for this race. Why it's not of people registering for races? Like in, uh, let me talk about China now. They say they resemble, the people in China resemble each other. Even when the, um, the Europeans come to Kenya, they say we normally resemble each other. I don't know how. Because if you put me together with my sister Washo, and then you say we resemble, uh, that's an error. But they say so. So like the Chinese, if they are not registered for the race, and it's a marathon race. Si mmoja atakimbia akifika hapa hadi amefika amechoka anapatia mwingine aendelee na hizo. You must register for the race. And when you start well, that is the best. If you do not start well, then even if you run the fastest ever, you will not be declared the winner of the race. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. One of the things that we are supposed to do in this race, we are saying that register for the race. And if you are not born again, then you have not registered for the race. You have not even begun running the race. So you will think that maybe you are born in a Christian family, uh, you can just run the race. No, you must also put down your name. That now I have registered myself for this race, then you'll be able to run. If not, you, no one is going to run your race. No one can get born again on your behalf. No one. Hata kama ni nani, hawezi akaokoka kwa sababu yako. Wewe mwenyewe lazima uokoke. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And this race, as we run, we are supposed to observe the rules. Don't just run to the opposite direction. You remember our president one time said that... Um, Okay, it was such a joke and uh, I liked it. Even we have seen the clip where a child goes to um, there are games in school, they are running, and then because you are facing this side and you are supposed to go this side, and because you just pick the baton, you start running to the opposite direction. Even if you run the fastest and win and cross the finishing line better than the rest, you will not be declared a winner. So you must not run to the opposite direction. There is a race that is marked for us. Go according to the race that you have been marked for. Don't go behind. Don't go sideways. Because if you do that, then you are not running the race that has been marked for us. And because we have to run this race, this is what the Bible says. That um, there are hills to be crossed. There are swampy areas. And when you come to the swampy area, you are not supposed to stop at that. When you come to the hilly place, you are not supposed to stop at that. You have to continue moving on. Ask Jehovah God for the strength to continue with the rest. Because he's able to give it unto you. And why are we supposed to run? We are running because the time is not on our side. Any time the trumpet might ring. And if you've not enrolled for the race, then you'll be left behind. We are running because the enemy, the devil, is after our souls. Now, supposing someone told you to run, because if you do not run, there's something bad that is going to happen to you. Wouldn't you run? Wouldn't you run? Now, here, we are running because the enemy of our souls is after us. We have to run. We have to persevere along this race. We have to run with perseverance. The Bible says that uh, we are in a, um, an area where we have to wrestle. 
we have to wrestle. We have to enter into this race. And the good thing about this race, again, we're not competing with any person. You can start any time. Because these other races, lazima kama ni 10 or 1. All of us must start at that time. But the race to heaven, it doesn't matter. Even right now, you can start running and you run along with like our bishop who got born again those days. You can still run this race with him. Let us mount up in this race. The race for mounting up. That is my topic. The race for mounting up is my topic. Now we continue. There are other things that we are supposed to do in this race. And before maybe we come to that one, I want to mention and compare the race, the earthly race, and the heavenly race. Now in the earthly race, you will find that uh, people run and only three of them are selected as winners. But in heaven, so long as we finish well, all of us are winners. A race, we know it is strenuous exercise. You cannot be in a race and then you don't exercise. You cannot be in a race, then you have put on a lot of fat. Meaning, you are not fitting on the word of God. You are not eating the heavenly bread. You are not doing the prayers. You are not fasting. Then you are not exercising. We need to be fit for this rest. And if you are not praying, then you are not exercising. You have put on a lot of fat. You cannot run. And when you have put on a lot of fat, you will keep on murmuring. You keep on complaining. You will see all the negative in Maureen. You will see all the negative in that person. Because you have put on a lot of fat. You are not doing a lot of exercise. And therefore, when I tell you bend, it will be a problem. And therefore, you start now blaming it on somebody else. We have also known that this race is short. We must run it. In our race, we have said only a few will receive the prize. But in the heavenly one, all of us can receive the crown of life. And in other races, the feet run, but the Christian race, the heart is the one that runs. Utumi migu in the Christian race to run, <laughs> you use the heart. In other races, only the fastest runner gets the prize, or the first three. In other races, men run for a temporal reward. But as we run for a, an eternal reward, in other races, uh, many times uh, hin hinders, other people might hinder um, them along the way. But us as a Christian, anyway, there are some who hinder others, and we are going to learn about how you will hinder a Christian from running this race. We are going to look at that. The other thing I want to mention here is that um, there is no way to get to heaven but by running the race marked for you. Our time allotted to us is short. Because I say short because you do not know when you will breathe your last. It is short. You do not know when the curtains will close up and then you open on the other side. You do not know. No one knows. And that makes our race short. Therefore, start running now that you may be able to obtain the prize. There are a few things I want to mention about um, this, uh, the rules for the race. I have listed down about 11 or 12 rules for the race. And then uh, we'll be through. The rules for the race. We have said that you must enter the race. And again, in this race, you must 
uh, run according to what has been marked for you. The other thing, when you start this race, you are not supposed to loiter. You are not supposed to start walking, looking sideways, going to Egypt and coming back. You will not be able to run this race. You have to be focused in this race. You are not supposed again to um, hear the noise, people calling you to go back to Egypt. That noise is still there. But you must run this race with persevering, knowing that where you are going, there is a prize for you. That once you reach heaven, then you will have the rest that is required for you. And in this other race, the other thing I want to mention is that um, when you are running this race, you are not supposed to kick people along the way. And you find uh, Pastor um, Millicent along the way, you kick her. <laughs> but Christians, that is what we've been doing. And I want to tell you how we kick other Christians along the way. When you don't talk good about Maureen to the brethren somewhere, then you are kicking Maureen. You are stabbing her at the back. When you kick others, is that you think you can do it better than that person. No. No. It's only that the grace is not the same, but no. Don't kick your brothers along the way. Run your own race that is marked for you. For you to be able to obtain that the Lord, that the Lord has for you. And also, the other thing I want to mention is about the bypass. There are many. So you remember we have the southern bypass? We have the eastern bypass? We have the northern and we have the western bypass. Do not run into those bypasses. Don't. That is not the race that is marked for you. No. It is not there. You cannot obtain the crown if you are running in those bypasses. Be aware of them. They are there. And they are so close to us. If you are not focused, you will find yourself running to this bypass. May the Lord help us. Someone sang and said, you used to preach. You used to be a good usher. But you ran and you went to the southern bypass. You went to the northern bypass. We do not see you anymore. You do not find delight in serving the Lord. You have run to these other bypasses. May the Lord help us. You used to do it. You used to come to church very early. And because you loitered along the way, you ran into the southern bypass and you have gone too far that when we are asking so and so used to be in this church, I do not see them anymore. No one knows where you went because you used to the southern bypass or the northern bypass, whichever is near to you. Whichever is near to you, take heed that you should not run into those bus, uh, uh, bus, those paths in the name of Jesus. The other thing is that as we run this race, let us be aware of those ones who will criticize us along the way. They will normally say, Haji kukimbia, ata huyu si mkristo, ata huyu hawezi fanya hivi. Do not listen to those voices because they are voices of destruction. They are just about to destruct you. I remember what Pastor Wangombe said one time in this church, that when they used to go for games in their school, their opponents could uh, threaten them by throwing words of defeat. That this one, we have already defeated them. And therefore, as um, they used to do that, they used to weaken their teams. Do not be allowed to be weakened by the evil one. Yes, the fiery darts are there. The enemy will keep on throwing them unto you. As it's in the book of Ephesians 6.16, 6, where the Bible says, Take on the shield of faith, that you may be able to quench the fiery darts. 
Yes, they are so fiery because they will pierce your flesh. They will do something that will make you feel like you have lost everything. But remember, there is a prize that we have to run for. And remember at the end of it, the Lord Jesus is saying, I am here. Run. Because I have kept a prize for you. There is a crown that we are running for. There is victory ahead of this race. Yes, it is so strenuous. Yes, we must exercise. And exercising is not an easy, uh, easy thing. You have to keep on doing it for you to be able to be fit. You have to keep on praying. You have to keep on, because it's a warfare. In a warfare, I was told that uh, you cannot afford to sit down. When the arrows of the enemy are being shot at you, you cannot relax. You cannot take a break. You cannot say you are not fasting. You cannot say you are not praying. Even if it is so hard like that, go before the Lord and say, here I have come. I want you, to God, to speak to me. I want you to speak to me because my heart is down. And we can be like our brother David, who said, why are you so down? Cast my heart. Arise and praise the Lord. And when I teach the new believers, this is what I normally tell them, that um, whenever I'm faced with a challenge, who are navruta kiti na ambia morini moja ka hapa morini. Ebu keti. Na munga murisha morini mbo. Moja keti. Sasa yula mesi mama ndia na munenea. Unajua morini nini? Uwe umetoka mbali sana. <laughs> Mungu wame kutendea mazuri sana. Wewe ni mteule wa Yesu Kristo. You are an overcomer. And even in this one, you are overcoming. Now cheer up. Arise and praise the Lord. And when it comes to that time, <laughs> what I normally do, I wake up music, and I dance my heart out to Jehovah God. And alone in the house, I will dance. And I will rejoice in this Lord. Because the Maureen who was up was speaking to me. Arise, because the Lord has done it for you. It is good to be in two. Usingoje nani akuja kunene. Pastor Beatriz, ebu chikalishe pale ujinene. Ambia uyu Beatriz ya mbaya meketi. <laughs> Umetoka mbali. Mbwana yesu asifiwe. And that is how we are going to run this race. By speaking to ourselves. By encouraging ourselves. Don't wait for someone to come and encourage you. The best place that you can take your problem is to Jesus. Let Jesus speak to you. Because once I share with somebody, and then that person um, will pray for me, yes. Thank God. That person will pray for me. But I need also to keep on encouraging myself in the Lord. I have to speak to myself that this race, Maureen, you must run it for you to be able to get the crown. What is the point of entering uh, the race and then you don't finish? The Bible says, who, who bewitched you? That you can enter into the rest. Yani yoni maneno yangu, yani lakini inasema, who bewitched you? <laughs> In this race. Bana yesu asifiwe. Take heed, be warned, you'll be offended at the cross. There are hurdles on the way. Jump over them. Siju yi zingbio zinaituanga aje. Zile hao wana, wana jump over the hurdles, eh? Do not be frightened or discouraged. No muscle pull should stop you on this race. Limp on, limp on, and limp on. Up, up to the finishing line. Study the race so that you may win. Study the race. Wezi kuwa naenda pahali alafu ujui hata gugu mapu. Ngawa bishop sa zingina natuambianga inaweza kupoteza. Lakini hata huja angalia ni wapu unaenda. Utawe, utaingia kwa gari hile inaenda opposite direction. If you do not know. Uh, uh, if you have not studied the race. Start right. 
for the heaven race you are to run. Sio tumesema ya kwamba wokovu wa mama yako ama baba yako sio wokovu wako. You must enter and start well. Usianze tu unaona kundi fulani naenda sehemu fulani unaanza kwenda na wao ufikirie ya kwamba hiyo it is a race that you are running. And even in this race we are being told that then strip off or and lay aside every weight. I've never seen a person who has entered into a race carrying sodas on the back, bottles of water on the back, and then a meva hiking book boots. Eh, isiyo ni katuni sana mtu kama huyo kukimbia. Huwezi kimbia. There are some shoes. No wonder when they are racing, when they have entered into the race, kuna nguo fulani zile wanavaa. Ziko kama half uchi. Si huwa mnaona? So even in this race, we are being told, strip off and lay aside every weight for you to be able to run. You cannot run when you have a lot of weight on you. That you are carrying bottles of sodas, bottles of water because it's a, ro a, a long race. You do not know um, when you are going to get another bottle of water. So you are carrying 20 of them. So that's because you will be hungry and maybe you are carrying some guashe. You are carrying food along the way. No. Don't stop on the way to kick others. Just run your race. If you do not run your race, no one is going to run your race. You have to run yours. I have to run mine. And we are not competing. Each one has to run their own race. Don't stop on the way. Don't loiter. Be focused. Don't jump over the hurdles of the wrong way. Don't go off course. Be aware of bypass that lead to other places, that lead to crooked ways, that lead to Egypt. Don't gaze or stare. Be sure to ponder the path of thy feet. Look straight on to Jesus. Do not listen to anyone who calls after you, whether it be the flesh or the world. They'll keep on calling unto you. Have you ever realized that when, uh, when things were okay that you could come to church for, for cashers? You come from your place of work, you're so tired, and you, then you are telling yourself, this time... And then you are encouraged along the way and then you say, let me go. God, I need your strength. And then when you enter the Kesha place, you are able to cash up to morning. And then you are saying, Haya, ni mimi. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I thought I was not able. So sometimes the enemy will speak to you and say, you are not, you are so tired. Don't go to church. You are so tired. Don't go to, for Bible study. Don't go for prayers. Don't do this. Don't fast because you have ulcers. You know the devil, who anasema ya kwamba, who ananua ya time ya, ya airtel, ya shiringi elf moja. Alafu akinunua hivu anashika sikio lako. And if you are not so careful, ata onge kitambo hiyo, ata imiangiri moja ishe, uh, utakuwa, akikuacha hapo uko kwa flow. Don't listen to him. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Don't listen to him. Now I want briefly to talk about um, the reason as why we are to run this race. There is a prize for us. Once we finish this race well, there's a prize for us. And we are running because there's a cloud of witnesses that are cheering us. That if I made it, you can make it. Those who are the giants of faith that went before us are cheering us on. Something that I never told you when I began. Mimi, ni mutu napenda football kama siju nini. Na huwa natoa pesa yangu kwa mfuko na lipa na enda stadium kuochi bo. <laughs> Ziwe mbio. Na ikari maivuvu there. And I enjoy myself. 
And for the DOIs you've seen, I, when I, whenever I'm in the stadium, I take myself selfies and then I post to the wall, enjoying myself. Now, what I want to say is this. I go there to cheer the people. In fact, sometimes I cheer the teams that I don't know. If my team is not playing. <laughs> and this one also my husband allows me. <laughs> and you know, sometimes we go together when he's around. <laughs> but sometimes I go alone. Many times. And in fact, there's a wall that collapsed um, in Nyayo Stadium and people died. The friends of mine who, who know that I go for such... <laughs> called to find out if I was doing well. <laughs> then I told them, because that game was being uh, played at 7 p.m., I didn't manage to go. I only go those ones that uh, start at 4. <laughs> so I know the rules. And I know how also to cheer. <laughs> so there's a cloud of witnesses that is cheering us on. On our race to heaven. They are cheering us. My sister, you can make it. Maybe you lost your job during Corona. Just the way I lost my vuvuring in this place. I lost it. <laughs> I have not vuvued. But sometimes, nikinok sana kwa nyumba yangu na vuvu. When I don't do it here, I can do it in my house. <laughs> But very soon I'm praying that uh, this thing of masks and uh, looking the way we are looking is coming to an end. But let's run our race. Let us do what the government is saying we should do as we run this race. I've said that um, some things to motivate us to run this race is because of the um, prize that is kept for us if we run this race well. The other thing is that the Lord Jesus is at the finishing line. Yes, he's running together with us, but he's also at the finishing line. He's there waiting for you. And then he will say, Peterson, my faithful servant, well done. He's there. He's there. We can put our focus onto our God, our Lord Jesus. We can put our focus onto him because we know He's at the finishing line, although he's still running together with us. The other thing that we can, uh, that can motivate us is that after we have run, we'll enter into rest. We'll enter into rest. When we are still on earth, there's no rest. Sometimes we pass through a lot of things. But we are running because we know once we cross the finishing line, there is rest that awaits us. Therefore, my brother, my sister, as we mount up, remember the direction for the race. You have to throw off all weights. Don't carry or don't run in those hiking boots. It will be impossible for you to run if you are dressed in such a manner. The other thing is we have to leave a mark. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 33, verse number 24, as we continue down, but I don't know, you can just uh, write it down. Uh, that um, for Asha, I have, um, I'll, I'll, he's, he's blessed of uh, brethren. Uh, and Asha, he said, Asha is my blessed of sons. Let him be favored by his brothers and let him dip his feet in oil. Now, when we dip our feet in oil, that means that we have to leave a mark. Hakuna vile wewe utachovia migu yako katika mafuta. Na utembea bare feet na mtu asione ya kwamba hizi nyayo za mtu alipita hapa. Let us dip our feet in oil and leave a mark as Christians. I remember one time our late Reverend Mwithi said that um, 
there used to be a person in a church. And um, she used to go to church very early and uh, wipe all the seats. But when she passed on, that's the time people started realizing there is that. That lady left a mark. Which mark are you leaving as a Christian? Which mark are you leaving? May the Lord help us. And may the Lord come through for us. Because we are called. It is a delight to run this race. Always keep your eyes upon the right mark. Run in the strength of Jesus. Be often in the exercise of grace. Yani, unapongeresha mtu. Hebu muambie hivi. Na kupenda sana. And let me say something. Uh, there's, there's a lady who used to bring us uh, fruit salad in the, in the office. And uh, she told me she was born again. Ni wale wanauza alafu wanachukua order from the office kutuletea. And then because we were preparing for prayer and fasting, the exercise that I'm talking about. And um, so I prepared her. I told her from next week for about 40 days, uh, please, I'll go on break. I'll not uh, eat the fruits. Then the following day when she came to the office, and she told me she was born again. When she came to the office, she told me this. She greeted all the people in the office and did not greet me. So it was like, oh, yeah. Then she told me, I don't like you. Then I looked at her. I wanted to tell her, is it my money that, uh, is it me or my money? Because now that I will not be giving you my money, but, you know, I was just talking to myself. I looked at her, and then she went away. Then the following day when she came, she behaved the same. So when, after she had supplied her the fruits, I, I went to her, I wanted to talk to her, she refused to talk to me. So I kept on praying, and I said, it's a battle. And I have to win this one. I must pray, pray for her. And then I look for a time where I'll be able to talk to her. And unfortunately, the following week, she was stopped from bringing uh, the fruit salad in our office. And now when I met her outside, she told me she's um, the one who caused it. I couldn't explain. <laughs> And then I prayed to God that anipatie uh, tumda tu ni mwongereshe ni mwambie I did not have anything to do with that. And uh, why I told her I was not going to eat this because of ABCD. But uh, that time never came. But one time I found her somewhere preaching. Na nikakaa kwa meeting. Then after that I wanted now to talk to her. But in Kaona Yakwamba, I had already forgiven her. There was no point of now talking to her about that. And this time, she's the one now who asked me for forgiveness. The timing of Jehovah God is the best. Usi rukie, usi kimbirie, wacha bwana mwenye wa kupatie nafasi hiyo. And uh, as I finish, this is what I want to say. Feed your faith for you to be able to, to run. Feed your faith with the heavenly bread. Read the word of God. Know it in and out. Be like the Bereans. Once they heard about the preaching, they could go back home to their homes and sit down and go through that word again with understanding. And someone said this, that when you want to read the Bible to understand, read more than three times the same chapter, the same verses, and now sit down and have a Bible study for yourself. And tell the Holy Spirit, here I am. Help me to understand the word of God. And the Lord will do it for us. As I've said, be often in the exercise of grace. When we are in the exercise of grace, we'll know how to talk to our brothers in a polite way. We'll know how to talk to our sisters 
in a polite way. And by so doing, we'll be running the race that is marked for us. And maybe you are in this place. And in the first place, you are not registered for this race. You can register now. You can lay aside the weight. Maybe it's a weight of discouragement. Maybe it's the weight of the things that are not going right in your family or in you, this nation or wherever. But you can lay these things aside and come to Jehovah God. You know the enemy would always want to discourage you on this uh, path. But as I've said, please sit yourself down. Please talk to yourself that you have come too far. Or where you are going, there is a prize for you. And the Lord will help you. I want us to pray together. Our Father and our God in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you because you have marked a race for us. The race to mount up. The race to heaven. And God, as we have learned about this race, that we must register. We must start off well. We must not loiter along the way. We must run on. We must not kick people along the way. We must not run and go to the bypasses, to the crooked ways. But we have to run on this path that is marked for us. Yes, it is a narrow one. By my God and my Father, we pray that your hand shall be upon us. For my sister, my brother, the one who is discouraged, I'm praying in the name of Jesus. The Lord of glory, Lord of mercy, you will be with them, O oh God, to encourage them. That they will rise up, O oh God. That they will run again. That my Father and my God, that discouragement is not their portion. They will sit themselves down and talk to themselves and encourage themselves in the things of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Most so I pray, Lord, that as we run this race, we'll be able to exercise, oh God, by praying, by reading your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, by aligning ourselves to the things of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus that you may be able to speak to us in the name of Jesus that will be found in the right places at the right times oh God when you are blessing your people Lord how I pray that each and of us oh God will find oh God his rest in the prayer closet oh God even coming together in this church to pray together, coming for the services, oh God. Father, Lord, how I pray that we will even run this race, oh God, as we exercise grace along the way, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, oh God. Yes, there are fiery darts along the way. But my God and my Father, you have told us that you give us the shield of faith that quenches all the fiery darts that come to us, oh God. That by faith, my God, we are moving on. That by faith, we are strong, oh Jehovah God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the prize that awaits us, oh King of glory. Thank you, King Jesus, that at the end of it, you are together with us. Thank you for the cloud of witnesses, the giants of faith that went before us that keep on cheering us along the way in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I bless your holy name. For none is like you and none can compare to you, Jehovah. How I pray that you may encourage each one of us to run this race with perseverance, oh God. That we may run and finish well, oh God. And yes, there is a field for our exercises, oh God. And the field is that this church, oh Jehovah God, and the, oh God, we have the coach along, oh my God. Our pastors, our leaders here, oh King of Glory, that will help us to know how to run this race in the mighty name of Jesus. For those ones that are unwell, oh God, in our midst, my Father, I pray that Lord, you continue to hold them in your hands. 
that their faith may continue to be strong in you. And at the end of it, oh God, glory and honor shall come back to you. Blessed be your name. Father, I thank you. Father, I worship you. For this we pray, trusting and believing in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Amen.